Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K23 video. Earlier this week, as part of 2K Showdown, host Lexi and Cornell unveiled a sneak peek mystery look at this year's WWE 2K23 DLC with several female superstars teased. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K23 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also stay up to date with all the latest women's wrestling news as well as WWE 2K23 news by checking out our official website www.revolution.com. I have to say I absolutely love it when 2K comes up with these sorts of things for roster and DLC teasers, it's just so much more fun. For me, it just reminds me of all the suplex city fun leading in a 2K17 with the whole community coming together to try and find out who made the cut. Sure, there are going to be plenty of people out there who just want the information laid out right in front of them, but for me personally, I love a good puzzle and a mystery, so just keep them coming. Before we dive into the teasers, I will say that this doesn't mean that any of our picks here are 100% confirmed, as any of us could be totally misinterpreting the clues and they could mean something completely different. As always, we'll be primarily focusing on the female superstars, so we'll go through all those first, then quickly speculate on some of the male superstars. So with that in mind, let's look at who might have made the cut for this year's game, and if the clues are anything to go by, god does it look like we might have some of the best women's DLC in years. First up, and probably the thing that caught almost everybody's eyes, the WWE Divas Championship. On first glance, I thought this could mean that we'll get a WWE Divas pack, but with so many superstars clearly hinted in the picture, I don't think the image represents a pack as such, but more likely a certain individual. Back in 2008, on July 20th, Natalia and Michelle McCool competed in the very first Divas Championship match at the Great American Bash. The matchup between two of WWE's greatest would go on to be won by Michelle McCool, becoming the first ever female superstar to hold the WWE Divas Championship. So what better way to symbolise Michelle McCool than with an image of the iconic title she first made famous. Michelle was last seen in a 2K game way back in WWE 12 after departing WWE back in May 2011 in a loser leaves match against former Lay Cool tag partner Layla. As a huge Michelle McCool fan, I would absolutely love to see Michelle make her long-anticipated return to the series, and fingers crossed, sooner rather than later, we get to see Lake Hill reunited once again in the WWE 2K series. Sticking with the Divas era, many of you may have noticed that amongst all the images and words, there is another iconic Divas era female superstar team. A little under the Divas Championship, eagle-eyed fans may have spotted Eve, which can be none other than the former Divas champion, Eve Torres. Unlike Michelle's tease, this one seems like an absolute given to the point that I can't think of anyone else but Eve Torres that this could represent. People have already mentioned that maybe both the Divas title and the Eve name could be for Eve, but I can't possibly see why they would use two teasers for Eve alone. Eve was last seen in a WWE video game way back in WWE 13 after making her departure back in 2012. Like Michelle, I was a huge fan of Eve back in the day, especially Eve's heel runs, which I can only hope is the version of Eve we get in the game. Sticking with legends, it looks as though we may finally have one of WWE's greatest female superstars making their WWE 2K video game debut. Now, for this one, you may have to squint just a little bit, but right at the top of the screen, you may have noticed the word Luna with a little moon. When I tell you I'm excited for Luna to possibly enter the WWE 2K series, you have no idea how much of an understatement that truly is. Luna was completely ahead of her time and one of the greatest female superstars to ever step foot in a ring before her WWE release back in 2000. Luna's first and unfortunately last WWE video game to date was way back in 1994 as part of WWF Raw on the Super Nintendo, so to have Luna possibly finally honoured in a WWE 2K video game is a huge win for the women's wrestling video game community. Moving away from female legends and onto more current and upcoming female superstars, we have a whole host of women teased, including talent formerly in NXT UK and talent currently competing in NXT and the main roster. Up first, and the one that sticks right out in the centre of the image, is none other than Hit Raw, or more importantly, Hit Raw's female superstar, B Fab. Interestingly, last year it was reported that Hit Raw were originally meant to be part of WWE 2K22 before their release back in May 2021, causing them to be removed from the original DLC plans. Skip forward to August 12, 2022, and the group are back together in WWE, with the trio once again seemingly scheduled for DLC, this time for WWE 2K23. 
The real question, however, is if BFAB will be playable or not, with BFAB only having a handful of matches during her time in WWE, most recently participating in the Women's Royal Rumble earlier this year. Regardless of playable or not, I can't wait to see what the trio entrance for Hit Row looks like. An interesting note to also keep in mind with the Hit Row teaser image is that many believe there is an overlapping image of what could symbolise the land of the rising sun hinting at Japan, but most importantly the final boss, Mako Satomura. As someone who is a huge, huge, huge Mako fan, I would absolutely love nothing more than to see the former NXT UK Women's Champion finally make her debut in a WWE 2K video game to finally kick some ass. Mako is of a different generation of wrestling and truly one of a kind, so he's hoping this is indeed true as I seriously need her in a WWE video game sooner rather than later. Speaking of NXT UK, it seems as though there may be a handful of former NXT UK superstars teased, starting with the most obvious clue being Blair Davenport. To the right of the Hit Row disc and possible Mako tease, you can clearly see the word Blair, which undoubtedly has to be hinting at the former NXT UK superstar. Most recently, Blair participated alongside Mako in the triple threat match with Mandy Rose to unify both the NXT and NXT UK Women's Championships as part of Worlds Collide on September 4th, 2022. Blair has made several appearances since, but seemingly took a step back in recent months. Who knows, maybe the creators can come up with a cool storyline to utilise Blair in NXT. Sticking with former NXT UK superstars, it looks as though Isla Dawn will finally be making her WWE 2K debut with many possible teasers of moons and stars scattered throughout the poster which could hint at her inclusion in this year's game. Since her rebranding back in NXT UK, I've become such a huge fan of Isla and it's been awesome to see her evolve into who she's become now on NXT. Most recently, Isla has joined with her former rival Alba Fire to seemingly try to disparage the female tag teams in WWE, most recently causing havoc for Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Now, bear with me on this next possible former NXT UK superstar because I'm quite torn whether or not this is what I think it might be. Over on the far left of the page, we can see an owl and what female superstar is most commonly associated with birds, or more importantly, feathers. Lyra Valkyria. Now, had it been just a feather on its own, I would have instantly said it's definitely Lyra, but with it being what looks to be an owl, I aren't willing to put all my eggs into one basket, so to speak. Lyra has such a cool moveset, so I would absolutely love nothing more than to see her moves recreated in the 2K engine. If you thought her moves might look good in the game, can you imagine how cool her entrance might look? On a brief little tangent, we got to see Lyra in person earlier this week and her entrance in person just looks so damn good. It's also worth noting that in various texts, owls are often intertwined with Norse mythology, with many texts delving into Valhalla. See where I'm going with this one? Now, whilst it might be a huge stretch, it could be hinting at Sarah Logan's return to the series by her new name Valhalla after making her return back in November last year. If I'm completely honest, I don't think this one is hitting at Valhalla, but I thought it may be worth mentioning nonetheless, seeing as the Viking Raiders are already in the game. Moving back to NXT, there are several NXT female superstar teasers scattered throughout the graphic and some badass talent at that. Right next to the possible Lyra tease, we have several images, but first off, we're going to start with the tree below, hinting at none other than NXT faction, Schism. Over the last few months, Schism have been making the lives of Chase U candidates hell, most recently with Schism's female representative, Ava Rain, tormenting Thea Hale. By now, everybody already knows that Ava is the daughter of WWE megastar The Rock, but Ava has been making a name all of her own in NXT, and hopefully this is the start of a continual progression of her WWE trajectory, having her make her WWE 2K video game debut. I honestly can't wait to look back in a few years' time at the entrance evolution of Ava and what WWE has in store for her. With Ava yet to make her in-ring debut, it's unknown as to whether or not she'll be playable like BFAB, but regardless, I'm just super happy to see her possibly make the cut in WWE 2K23. Who knows, maybe she can join a custom bloodline female faction. Following on from Ava, we have one of my favourite NXT superstars teased in the form of an eye mask, Wendy Chu. During her time in WWE, Wendy has undergone several gimmick changes with a hugely popular star settling on a sleeping sensation gimmick which has often granted her with championship opportunities. 
Like many of the NXT women of today, Wendy is completely unique to those who have come before her thanks to her over-the-top persona and super fun moveset. In recent weeks on TV, it seems as though Wendy might be out of action for a little while thanks to a serial attacker who previously tagged NXT superstar Nikita Lyons. I for one cannot wait to try out Wendy's moveset and I can only hope that Wendy's pillowcase or maybe even the shaker can be used as a weapon to take out competitors. Pillow fights confirmed for 2K23. <laughs> Jokes aside, Wendy could be one of the most funnest superstars to play as after Katana Chance. Moving on from Wendy, over on the right of the screen we have what looks to be a credit card that has to be the tease for none other than rising superstar Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany has been on a hell of a run down in NXT, taking on talents such as Saray, Katana and Thea, just to name a few, with her sights now set on becoming the NXT Women's Champion. Like many of the NXT women, Tiffany has an arsenal of moves all of her own, with a stunning moonsault as seen in recent weeks on NXT. It'll be interesting to see if Tiffany in 2K23 is the daddy's little rich girl incarnation or the more serious version of Tiffany since her return earlier this year. Either way, I can't wait to see what Tiffany's model looks like and I have no doubt that she will be champion in most people's unique stories. Speaking of Tiffany, we have one of Tiffany's most recent rivals teased in the form of the official Chase U logo, which can be seen at the top of the graphic. Over time, members have come and gone in Chase U, but one of the most prominent students is none other than the ever-energetic Thea Hill. As mentioned previously, Thea has been in an ongoing feud alongside Chase U against Schism, with the team set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe over the coming weeks. I for one can't wait to see Thea's solo entrance in 2K23, and more importantly, the stable entrance. Now, I know I've said it time and time again, but I really hope we have some unique weapons in this year's game, and one of the weapons I would love to see is the Chase U branded items such as the flag or Thea's megaphone. Not to mention, but like her fellow NXT superstars, Thea also has a cool arsenal of moves which are bound to look great in game. Last and certainly by no means least, we have another faction teased in the form of none other than their diamond mine. With the Creed brothers already in the base game of WWE 2K23, I would hazard a guess and say that this tease is the female portion of the faction in the form of Ivy Nile and Tatum Paxley. Over the last year, Paxley and Nile have gelled together more after the initial friction between the pair, with the duo most recently eyeing up the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. Both Ivy and Tim have been killing it on NXT level up and NXT and bring their own dynamic to an already talent filled pool of women so it's awesome to see them finally make their debut in a WWE 2K video game if this is indeed true. So that's all the women I could find in the image but if there's anybody you think I might have missed don't hesitate to get in touch and leave a comment down below. One brief thing I will mention is that during my breakdown I did ponder on whether or not Mia Yim might be included in this year's DLC thanks to the OC name tease which can be found in the image. Upon her return to WWE, Mia was paired with the OC for a brief stint in a bid to try and shut down Rhea Ripley in the Judgment Day. Now Mia still could be in the game with the OC but for some reason I'm not quite sold but let me know what you at home think. So to reiterate once again the women we have picked up on so far are Eve Torres, Michelle McCool, Luna Vachon, B-Fab, Mako Satamora, Blair Davenport, Isla Dawn, Lyra Valkyria, Ava Rain, Wendy Chu, Tiffany Stratton, Thea Hale, Ivy Nile and Tatum Paxley. That's a whopping 14 female superstars taste if for this year's WWE 2K23 DLC and if they're all indeed correct that is one hell of a selection of female superstars and quite frankly possibly the best women's DLC ever. Like I say, if there's anyone you think we might have missed, pop them down below and let's discuss. Before we sign off, I just wanted to quickly run down the male superstars that are teased throughout the image, just in case any of you at home might be wondering. According to the community, the male superstars teased within the graphic are Devon Dudley, Nathan Fraser, Trick Williams, Bray Wyatt, Gable Stevenson, Roderick Strong, Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, Ashante The Adonis, Top Dollar, DDP, Wolfgang, Mark Coffey, Rick Steiner, Scott Steiner, Carlito, Jagger Reed, Joe Gacy, Rip Fowler, Andre Chase, Duke Hudson, Wade Barrett, Brooks Jensen, Josh Briggs, Chris Masters, Bronson Reed and Harley Race. If those are all indeed true, that's 29 male superstars alone before any of the women come into play. Talk about packed. 
So before we go down the rabbit hole, so to speak, I think we best wrap things up. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K23 women's content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I'm off to render some exciting videos for next week. Hint, hint. <laughs>